Hello, this is a short video explaining the advice that you'll read in every bridge book. Never underlead an ace in a suit contract. Why is this so important when you're on opening lead and your opponents are playing in a suit? Well, let's just check uh, what underleading means. It's simply playing a, a small card from a suit headed by the ace. It's often called leading away from an ace. That's the same thing. In each example here, the lead of a low card uh, from this heart suit is a potential problem. But what if you have to lead the suit, for example, if partner bid the suit, or if it's the unbid suit, and you think that might uh, be better than any other suit? That's fine, lead the ace, but often it's much better for you to look for an alternative. Just to say, it's fine to underlead an ace if your opponents are playing in a no trump contract. In fact, quite often that makes an attractive lead. So it's in a suit contract that we need to be wary because it's here that you may be giving away a trick to your opponents. Let's take a look at a few hands. On this deal, we can have a look at one of the most straightforward uh, reasons for not underleading your ace. So um, let's have a look. The contract is four spades by south. Uh, the auction is over here. It's gone one spade, three spades, four spades. Don't worry too much about the auction. That puts us on lead as west and... What I'm going to do is uh, pick an opening lead from here. Obviously, partner hasn't uh, bid any suits. We know the contract is in spades. And I'm just going to show you what happens if you underlead your ace. So it will go for two, a queen, queen from partner, and a king from south. Now, I don't need to play any more cards for you to notice that your ace of hearts now is never going to make a trick because declarer in south has become void in hearts. So I'm afraid your ace of hearts is going to get trumped. Now, I'm not saying that the ace of hearts would have been the best lead, but at least if you're going to lead the hearts, if you'd led the ace, you would have made one trick out of your hearts instead of no tricks. So that's a very easy way to lose a trick. So it's simple. When declarer has a singleton, you're never going to make um, the uh, ace in your suit if you lead away from it. OK, let's have a look at another. OK, so here we go again. Four spades uh, by south, and uh, we're on opening lead in west. So I'm going to lead from um, beneath my ace again and see what happens. So we'll have a two, queen from partner, and a king from declarer. Now, declarer shouldn't have won that king because this ace, your ace, was sitting over the king, and at any time declarer played the king, then you could have taken it with the ace. So although you'll still make your ace in this layout, um, probably the horrid thing about this is that declarer has won a trick that wasn't a deserved trick. So you're giving away a trick to the other side and uh, Declarer is going to make an extra trick on this layout. So it's not only the singletons, uh, just to take that back and uh, let you have a look at what happened again. It's not only a singleton uh, in the suit that can be a problem, but also a doubleton can be a problem if you're in this position with the ace sitting over the king and you underlead your ace. Okay, so in this case, it's best not to lead um, the suit at all. 
because if you lead the ace in this suit, then declare and discard the six and the king is still a winner. So you want to be holding on to that ace until the king is played. OK, I hope that makes sense. Let's have another one. On this hand, we're going to have a look at the confusion that can be caused when your partner underleads an ace. So it's about partnership understanding. And of course, underleading an ace can cause a major problem for your side. Now, what you need to do is to be able to trust that your partner won't underlead an ace because uh, that will present difficulties for you. And then, of course, you mustn't underlead an ace so you don't uh, confuse your partner. OK, so this time we're going to take into account partnership understanding. If you and partner can be completely confident that neither of you will underlead an ace um, against a suit contract, then that is definitely going to help your defence. So we've got a contract of four spades by south. Again, don't worry too much about how we arrived at the contract. West is on lead. All right, let's start the play. Partner leads the two of hearts. And five from dummy. So what does the two of hearts lead tell us? Well, a low card usually promises an honour. And certainly that honour can't be an ace because partner, of course, wouldn't underlead an ace in a suit contract. So partner hasn't got the ace. The only honour partner can have is the jack because we can see the king um, in our own hand and the queen in dummy. So now our partner's lead has given us a clue to the layout. And the layout is, as far as we can see, that partner has the jack, which means declarer has the ace. Now, if declarer has the ace, there's not much point in putting our king on it. That's going to be a waste. We're going to play the king and declarer will win the ace. But we know declarer doesn't have the jack. So we know that we can play the 10 and let declarer win that with the ace. And then our king can be a winner next time round. But of course, it isn't the ace and declarer can win that trick with the jack. OK, now we're completely confused. We don't know uh, whether partner has the ace and has. So it's very difficult uh, when we get back in, if we get back in with this uh, ace of clubs, we won't be too sure um, what to lead here. So let's just wind back and see what happens if our partner actually leads um, the ace. I'm not saying that's the, the, the lead, uh, a good lead from that hand. But if partner leads that suit, it must be the ace that's led. So we don't have any confusion. So now a partner would win the ace. And then if partner plays um, the nine of hearts, low from dummy, we can actually pick up two tricks um, before declarer starts roughing uh, the rest of our hearts. OK, so those are just a few examples of where this can go wrong. So the message here is try not to confuse your partner. Well, that's it. I hope you found these examples useful. Just remember the golden rule, never underlead an ace at trick one against your opponent's suit contract. Goodbye.